Well, we've had a few um, statewide projects that's gone out through the Water Board. Uh, Propel was one of the first ones that uh, many of you know as being inspectors. I was one of the chosen few that was actually on that panel. Um, there were a number of us throughout the state that we reviewed a lot of what Propel did because of, as you were here yesterday's uh, meeting with Laura, um, there's some uh, operation people that were basically, they asked through EPA and that, they asked um, to be boilerplated kind of, where they're going to use this product this way and they wanted to, because of so many locations that they are going to install this stuff, that they wanted pretty much a carte blanche um, blessing over the entire ordeal. Um, they didn't get the carte blanche right away because of the many that was inside the, uh, the program in there that we did all the review for. Um, there were several of us, whether it was health or fire, we had our issues with them, everything's okay. So if you have a propel station trying to go into your location, um, pretty much everything that they would be using in there has already been approved by the work group and by the state water board so that you could go ahead and, and just pay attention to the location and how it's being installed, not what's being installed. Because as long as they um, correlate, and they should, um, the actual items themselves have already been approved. So you don't have to go back and do all the um, research to make sure that that is it. So as long as the, the numbers match, you should be good. Costco's here today. Um, they've done basically the same thing. Tim's going to speak more about the hoops that they've jumped through. Um, I know in my town, in Burbank, because I'm, excuse me, I, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Dirk Drossel with Burbank Fire Department, and I am one of the ICC people that's there for the underground tank section for the city of Burbank, so I apologize for that. Um, in, in the city of Burbank, I know that they're going to um, install the ultrazol stuff that is the fuel additives. And so I'm very aware of what's going on with Tim's work group that he had gone through. And all of you that should have been in the Lysis um, website and have signed up for all the updates and everything, as an inspector or if you're just interested in what's going on throughout the state, the Lysis um, website is where you want to go. If you have not done that, you need to because there was a letter that went out stating that you needed to go back and re-up on the list. If you're not on the list, you're not going to get updated. And there is a section for inspectors that's in there, and I'm sorry to tell you, if you're not an inspector, you do get scrutinized, and even though that you signed up for it, you don't get to know what we know. On the neuter technologies, um, Vitaroot and Western Fiberglass, they, we had intended them to be here. Like I said, um, we apologize for that, so this won't be the super long one that you expected to be able to have all the information in, I apologize for that, but we are going to move on. The infrastructure projects that's going on, uh, Propel is out there and they do have a grant that they were trying to put in 75 new locations uh, and it was a basically a standalone dispenser with biodiesel and E85. They do have the new regulations that's out that's um, from the committee that was done for this. We followed all of that information so that they were able to go ahead and to actually um, go forth with that. October 2011, the Cal EPA um, guidance issued the state to all the Koopas to consider Propel projects. Everybody's gone through all that stuff. I gave you the short version of it. Um, this is Laura's slides that she has me going through. One of the things that Propel wants to do is they want to um, change on some of their e-sites. They want to change the formulation so that is um, going through the process. 
Costco is um, seeking the Ultrazol um, fuel additive and I'm not trying to take anything away from Costco but because they're going to speak more about it but everybody's concerned about the top tier gas you know the, the commercial that everybody's gone what's top tier gas well top tier gas actually is fuels with the additives in it to make your car run better and from what I know, Costco wants to make all their customers happy, so they're going to make sure that you have top tier fuel. And this is the way they're going to do it. And they'll speak about that. In uh, 2011, they've got the, the proposed regulations here um, were put out. Comment period was closed by January 2nd, 2012. This is on the new regulations for. Um, use it utilizing all the, the new constituents of, of part of your underground tanks. Everybody used to do variances and everything for biodiesel and e-fuels e and stuff like that. Well, the new regulations are coming out are going to make it so it's a little easier and um, the process a little smoother so it's able to be able to put in things like the ultrazol and, and move propels stuff a little faster. Um, they did modify the Section 3 and 2631. Option for compliance and independent testing and approval requirements. They allows the owners and operators to store the alternative fuel substance in the USTs in a manner that was not created by significant risk to the adverse impacts of the water quality. Basically what that comes down to is that it is put upon people like Costco or like Propel to make sure that they go out and they do their homework and they get the manufacturers to get the listings and all that kind of stuff and bring it to us. We don't have to go and give them all the information, say you need to get the variants and all this. With this new regulations, it's supposed to take care of that. So those of us that do plan checking and review, um, it'll make our life a little easier. So they did send out the letter. Uh, about Costco and those of you that are on the Lyris list you should have gotten that so that everybody would be able to tell what's going on with Costco that's why we have Tim here and he's going to speak about that and you can see what the new regulations that are going in the LG 113 um, everybody knows or most of you that's in here should know that LG 13 is the interpretation of the code regulations for the state water board that's their interpretation of the intent of the code that we're supposed to be able to follow. Um, Ultrazol is a detergent, and it, like I said, it will make um, our cars run better. Some of the other things that's, that they're looking at is um, the isobutanol. Um, this brand name is, is one of them. Um, they're going through and they're looking at all the new alternate fuels that's going to be replacing some of the additives in the near future and the reason why the regulation was rewritten so that this can go through a little easier. Some of the other states allow all the extra um, changes in the uh, fueling and California doesn't because we're trying to protect our water resources so much. We are one of the lead, as everybody knows, in the nation to um, actually protect our water resources. So. That's the delay that, that was out there. We needed the regulations to be able to go forward and the, the re regulations have been rewritten so that we can move forward with the rest of our nation. Those of you that uh, are close in, to this uh, application, you know that it's not just two pages thick. Um, this document covers the future fuels. Um, I'm not supposed to say it, but if it's an insomnia cure that you want, you go through and read this, and I'm sure that'll happen. Sorry, Laura, don't, don't shoot me. And that's it for me. Um, I was just trying to just bring up the little stuff because the, the main idea was just to put some information across for the water board and Laura's group and to let the other people come up here and speak 
Um, unfortunately, two of them are not able to do that. But um, Tim, please come up. Tim. 